feeling a bit more like spring or a fall day as we go into the night. Temperatures at 59 degrees, also windy as well. I was just outside out back. You could hear the trees rustling. That's because those winds are at 24 miles per hour coming out of the south southwest. Dew point sitting at 52 degrees. Overcast conditions not raining here at the station in Lima. Today's Almanac getting up to 59 degrees in the low as we were into the morning time at 29 degrees. Temperatures around the area right now, we are actually at 60 in places like Ottawa, Bluffton as well, 58 into Van Wert, and down to the south at 58 into Minster as well. And as we look at satellite radar, the rain coverage has uh, been more isolated over the last couple of hours. We do have one shower just moving its way into Hancock County right now and Putnam as well. Moving here into Allen, just west of Lyme at the moment. Some rain up to the north as well. Still seeing those overcast conditions here into west central Ohio. Zooming out, low pressure all the way up to the north. We do have this cold front that will be approaching. Severe weather down to the south into parts of Illinois, even into Missouri as of right now. Not expecting to see severe weather here as we go throughout the rest of the night. But we do expect to see another round of showers as we go into the morning hours. Could see some moderate rainfall as we go into the early parts of the morning, mainly down to the south and concentrated into the middle portions of the area up to the north. We could see a shower or two as well. That cold front eventually does start to move through. As we go into the morning hours, so the coldest temperatures or the warmest temperatures, I should say, st start into the morning. And eventually, as we go into the afternoon, those temperatures actually continue to fall and we start to clear out as well. Those clouds do uh, clear on out as we go into the afternoon. Tomorrow will be a partly cloudy day. Going into the evening, we are partly cloudy as well. Maybe a flurry up to the north, but nothing really too much to to worry about as we go into your Monday. The wind is the other story. We have those winds up to around 35, possibly even 40 mile per hour wind gusts as we go into your afternoon and eventually as we go into the evening, we see those wind gusts start to die down by the 7 p.m. hour right around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Now, as that cold starts to move on in, we are actually forecasting our first 20 degree day for highs and that comes on Tuesday as we have this cold blast from the north. We see those temperatures in into the mid 20s. Future temperatures over the next uh, 24 or so hours, we see those temperatures getting into the uh, 40s as we start your day off tomorrow. And that's where our warmest temperature of the day starts. And as we go into the afternoon, reaching the freezing point. So your jacket definitely a must as you head out the door tomorrow. 40 degrees are low tonight. Scattered showers, windy as well, gust up to 40 miles per hour. And that actually is our low tonight, 40 degrees. Tomorrow, the high being 40 into the morning. Clouds clearing and temps falling as well. Gust up to around 35, possibly even. 40 as well. The seven day forecast Tuesday, possibly even some snow as we go into the overnight hours. Nothing really that will accumulate temperatures into the 20s. We get back to the 60s as we hit your Friday, but that's not long lasting as that system starts to move on out. We see showers into your Friday, Saturday temperatures falling down to the 30s by Sunday. Mostly sunny skies. Katie.